Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the domain and range of the rational function. So let's have example number one. Find the domain and range of the rational function f of x equals 1 over x minus 2. So a rational function is defined only when its denominator is not equal to 0. So this means that the domain of a rational function is the set of all real numbers except those that make the denominator equal to zero. So let's find the domain of the function 1 over x minus 2. So ang gagawin nyo lang dito guys is equate lang natin yung denominator to zero then solve for the value of x. So transpose natin yung negative 2 we have x equals 2. So yung value ni x na magiging 0, yung denominator ng ating function is 2. So, therefore, ang domain natin dito is the set of all real numbers such that x is not equal to 2. So, ganyan lang siya kasimple, guys. No? So, another example. Example, we are asked to find the domain of x plus 5 over 3x squared minus 6x. Kumara, dito lang. Okay? So, same procedure, guys. Equate lang natin yung denominator to 0. Then, solve the value of x. So, in this case, masasolve natin yung value ni x by factoring. So, factor natin si 3x. We have x minus 2 equals 0. Okay? Then, equate both factors to 0. We have 3x equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So, in this case, we have two values of x. Yung una, pag dinibide natin to by 3, we have x is equals to 0. Then, yung pangalawa, we have x equals to 2. So, therefore, ang domain ng ating g of x is the set of all real numbers such that x is not equal to 0 and 2. Okay? So, ganyan lang guys, kasimple, kumuha ng domain. So, next, try naman natin hanapin yung range of the rational function f of x equals 1 over x minus 2. So, yung range, guys, on the other hand, can easily be identified through its graph. Okay? But, it can also be determined by replacing f of x by y and solving for x in terms of y. So, try natin. Example, this is our function. So, replace natin si f of x to y equals 1 over x minus 2. Okay? Okay? Then, after natin magawa yan, solve natin si, si, si x in terms of y. So, para magawa yun, by cross-multiplication, alam naman natin, pagka walang denominator, that is understood na 1. Okay? So, y times x minus 2 equals 1 times 1. Okay? Then, after yan, Solving for x, divide both sides of the equation by y. So, maka-cancel natin to. Then, we have x minus 2 equals 1 over y. Then, solving for x, transpose natin si negative 2. We have x equals 1 over y plus positive 2. Okay? So, dito... Pag nakare-write na yan dyan, ma-identify na natin si range. As you notice, meron tayong y doon sa denominator. So, meaning, ang y dapat natin is hindi maging equals to 0 dahil magiging undefined yung ating function. So, therefore, ang range natin, y is the set of all real numbers such that y is not equal to 0. So, ganyan lang din kasimple kumuha ng range, guys. Okay? 
So next, let's have example number 2. Determine the domain and range of the rational function whose graph is shown below. So dito guys, ang gagawin nyo lang dito is i-observe lang natin yung graph. So normally, para ma-identify natin si domain, ang gagawin nyo lang is i-observe nyo yung mga x values. Hahanapin nyo kung saan point sa x hindi nag-cross yung ating graph. Okay? Then, as you notice, dito sa may bandang left side ng ating Cartesian plane, so we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Dun sa point ng negative 3 sa ating horizontal line, makapansin nyo, yun yung point kung saan hindi nag-cross yung ating graph. Okay? So therefore, ang domain ng ating graph is the x is the set of all real numbers such, such that x is not equals to negative 3. Okay? So sa range naman, ang range natin technically ito yung ating y values. Okay? So kung si domain, kay x tayo tumingin, this time kay y doon sa ating um, vertical line. Okay? Then, as you notice, makapansin nyo sa may bandang taas, dito, we have 1. Makapansin nyo, dito sa line ni 1, ni y equals 1, hindi dumaan or hindi nag-cross yung ating graph. So, meaning, y is the set of all real numbers such that y is not equals to one. So this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!